Hey, this is Mad Hatter, and I'm here at an Ocean Monument to talk to you about a tool. And I know it's been a while since I've dropped a tool, but if you remember, I have this really popular pack called the Bedrock Technical Resource Pack that shows you these Guardian spawn spots in uh, survival without turning off cheats. But the problem is it doesn't work for people on council. And that has bothered me. I can't make everything work for people on council, but what I can do is help you out with uh, some things in a web browser. So to review how this works, if you are in the center chunk here, I could place an armor stand down and it will show you where those things are. One thing that you should be aware of, this is because an ocean monument is perfectly chunk aligned. I can just calculate if I know where the center is at, where all the spawn spots are at. That means if you place it outside of the center chunk, it will compute the wrong spawn spots. See, like these ones are not actually spawn spots. It's not actually interfacing with the world in any way. It's just doing some math based upon the uh, shape of the ocean monument. So knowing that these things are always in the same spots, I can calculate where you should be blocking spawns. Now, people will be confused and they will ask, what about fortress farms? And guess what? They're not chunk aligned. I can't do the same trickery with the fortress farm. I know you want it. I just can't do the same thing. It doesn't work the same way. So this works because it's chunk aligned. It would not work for a fortress farm. It could work for witch farms and a few other things, but right now I'm just seeing how people like this method before doing any more work. So let's see what this method actually entails. You can see a website on the right side of my screen. If I take the coordinates of the center chunk, anywhere in this chunk, it doesn't really matter where, let's just go here, because I know that's not the middle. Minus 250, minus 250, and minus 346. Now, if I go and I fly over here, over to this corner you can see this is at 22 and 318 and now if i go this way 32 318 if i was standing directly on that block you'd see that it's lined up perfectly and it goes like this so on and so forth so you don't have to count these anymore this just is doing the counting for you without you having to figure it out and you can see that it gives you all 25 spawn spots. I'll just scroll down really quick. Right there. I also added for my, my friends on council, ability to do chunk borders. Uh, that's close enough. So if I were to grab a rocket and I were to go like this, and I were to find where the chunk border is at over here. You see there, minus 256 and minus 337. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. Well, that was a whole ado about nothing. I forgot to put a negative sign. You guys may have seen that. But if you go here, you can see this is minus 241 and minus 337. If I go, and that is inside of this chunk border. And then if I go over here, and I go to this corner, that is inside of this chunk border, 256, 352. So that will work. You just type in the, um, you type in the coordinates and you can figure out the most extreme two blocks that will be in the same chunk. The, this one and this one and then you can you know switch the coordinates around and you can get the other other two and you can actually figure out how to chunk align your builds chunk alignment is often incredibly important for redstone so like i've seen so many people build the barter farm or the other sorters in a way that puts items on chunk borders that causes it to not work ever skipping 100 percent of items this will at least let you know where the chunk borders are at without having to do a bunch of counting and math on your own. So hopefully that helps you out. 
This is sort of a really quick video because there isn't a lot that I added, but my main question for you, is this something that you would use? Is this something that you want me to put more calculators on? If you have formulas, like I could do the nether coordinates, I could do all of that sort of stuff on the same page. You just have to scroll down or we'll figure out how to make the UI look a little bit better. I did this really quickly. It took me like, you know, an hour to write up the, the code for it. I didn't really plan on uh, doing anything with it until people tell me that they actually use it and like it. So if you do like this, if you're a console user or you're even just like a phone user, you don't like to switch between packs. If you want this to do more, you got to let me know in the comments that you like it, that you want more of it. And that's the st type of stuff that you want to see on the channel. Otherwise, I'll just leave it like this. I already did the work. There's no sense in taking it down. Anyway, it's going to be up to you guys. This is Mad Hatter, and I'm out. Bye.